as the most valuable objects found inside the zone. Artifacts hold great powers that are often underestimated. Plus 200%? Plus 6 health? What does that really mean? Hello stalkers, and welcome to the Anomalous Dugout. In this video, we will take a look at the true healing powers of some of the artifacts from the Stalker trilogy. In order to measure the real capabilities of these healing artifacts, it is necessary to understand how time works in the Stalker games. All three of them use the same day and night cycle system, in which the in-game time is 10 times faster than the real time. Basically, one hour spent in front of your computer playing Stalker represents 10 hours spent inside the virtual world of the game. Now that we have this information, we can study the health system. For that, we measured and calculated some figures, but please keep in mind that these are approximated values. First, let's look at the base health region. Surprisingly, this core game mechanic is different in all three games. In Shadow of Chernobyl, it takes 16 minutes and 40 seconds to fully regen your health, which means regen is about 0.1% per second. In Clear Sky, regen was doubled, taking 8 minutes and 20 seconds to fully recover at a 0.2% per second rate. It was finally slightly nerfed in Call of Pripyat, taking 10 minutes to completely heal at a 1 out of 6% per second rate, which is approximately 1.67. This means that in real life, full region would take 2 hours, 46 minutes and 40 seconds for the marked one, 1 hour, 23 minutes and 20 seconds for Scar, and 1 hour and 40 minutes for major deck direv. This is of course impossible, but we need to remember that Stalker is a video game after all. Although I wouldn't mind if the base region was actually completely removed. Now let's talk about artifacts, starting with Shadow of Chernobyl, where we take a look at the Stoneblood, Midchunk and Soul. The stone blood allows to fully regen in 7 minutes and 6 seconds, at a rate of 0.235% per second. The mid chunk does this in 4 minutes and 30 seconds, at 0.37% per second. And the soul in 3 minutes and 80 seconds, at 0.505% per second approximately, of course. In real life, this would translate to a complete recovery in 1 hour and 11 minutes, 45 minutes, and 33 minutes. That seems kinda overpowered, right? Well, you've not seen anything yet. Let's move on to Call of Pripyat, in which healing artifacts are now the Sol, Kolobok, and Firefly. The new soul allows full regen in 5 minutes at a rate of 1 third, approximately 0.33% per second. The Colobok does it in 3 minutes and 20 seconds at 0.5% per second, and the Firefly in 2 minutes and 30 seconds at 2 third, approximately 0.67% per second. In real life, this would mean complete recovery in 50 minutes, 33 minutes and 20 seconds, and 25 minutes. That is even faster than in Shadow of Chernobyl, but we've kept the best for the last. Clear Sky has the same artifacts as Call of Pripyat, but they had not been nerfed yet. The soul allows to fully regen in 1 minute and 14 seconds at 1.35% per second. The Colobok does the same in 40 seconds at 2.5% per second 
and finally with the awesome firefly in only 27 seconds at 3.65% per second. In real life this is equivalent to 12 minutes and 20 seconds, 6 minutes and 40 seconds and 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Of course, you would need another artifact to counter the radioactivity emitted by the healing artifacts. But just imagine the insane speed at which wounds are healed by this. This shows that artifacts are extremely powerful and their effects could be used for great purposes, both inside the zone and in the big land. That also explains why these objects are so valuable and why stalkers are risking their life to get their hands on them. Now that we've seen how fast we can heal with just one artifact, let's see how better it gets with artifacts combinations. In Shadow of Chernobyl, it is possible to use five soul artifacts at the same time, since they are not radioactive. The healing speed is then very fast, but still not as impressive as what we can achieve in the other two games. In both Call of Pripyat and Clear Sky, we can actually use five Firefly artifacts, since the healing completely compensates the loss of health from maximum radiation. But let's say you don't want to contaminate everything around you. Then the best combination becomes two bubbles, two fireflies and one colobog in Call of Pripyat for a nice region speed. But the ultimate combo, made possible by the pre-nerf bubble from Clear Sky, is two bubbles and three fireflies, which give a never before seen region speed. Well, that is basically it for the healing properties of artifacts. I hope I didn't miss anything and that you learned something new today. Don't forget to tell me what you think about it in the comments below and keep watch as more videos and artifacts are coming next. Thank you for watching stalkers and goodbye.